Hello everyone. Penjara mah. Nomor sudah. Ya to the Allah. Okay, I'm back again in this uh, sorry, let me put there. Okay. I'm back again in this video about teaching you guys polar online. Okay? So I'm um, I apologize for not posting in our videos and not posting them frequently because I was ill in the last month and days so I apologize but now I'm back I'm really back and I'm excited to to continue my mission and also I, I would like to thank everyone all those who have subscribed all those who, are, who have liked the Facebook page and all those who are showing support and appreciation for my modest work okay thank you guys okay let's go last time we did the introduction in a one video and then we did the part one of competence one okay so now we're gonna do the part two of competence one okay so in the competence one we studied the vocabulary i hope that you follow with me and i hope that you downloaded the book okay so we studied the vocabulary study the cultural notes Okay, and then yeah, we did also we studied okay the some some sayings okay ancient wisdom, and now today we're gonna study the grammar okay the grammar okay so we're gonna do spelling and pronunciation, and then we're gonna do the exercises cultural notes we have some other cultural notes also okay and everything okay okay grammar. Spelling and pronunciation, okay? Pular is written the way it is pronounced. So this is very important. It's written the way it is pronounced. So there is actually a UNESCO conference in Mali, in Bamako, the capital city of Mali, where they standardized the, the correct orthography and spelling, okay? So we're going to use that in this book and in this program. We're going to use that standard, those standards, okay? So here, letter used, uh, okay, for example, okay, for the sounds, okay, here, let's come here, speakers of Spanish or Italian should find polar pronunciation easy. Yeah, that's true. I've, I've personally learned Spanish. Uh, I, I speak Spanish a little bit. I understand a little bit of Italian because it's near, because I'm a fan of the, the culture, the, the, the soccer in, in Italy, okay? So for them it's really easy. But it will be difficult for German people or Dutch people, those kind, yeah, it, will, it might be, and French people. Okay, the five vowel sounds are the same as in those languages, okay? There are only three sounds in Polar that are completely unfamiliar. These are the implosive consonants, like this one, it looks like a B, but it's not B. It's called, it's pronounced B, B, okay? B, 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 not B, not B, but B, 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 okay? And this one also is pronounced D, 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 instead of D, 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 instead of D, okay? We're going to see all this in this, uh, in this uh, table. Okay. Okay. Then the one also it looks like a n sound, n sound, but it's a ng sound, like in sing. Again, ng sound. Okay. We're gonna see that also in this. I'm just gonna focus on the table. Please read all about this. There's something else important also. Okay. There's something important is that most full bay. Full bay, I, I, let me remind you that full bay is the plural form of pullo. Pullo is the one who is a fuller, who is a polar speaker. Okay? He is like me. I am a pullo. Plural, full bay. Full bay. bay. Singular, pullo. Plural, full bay. Okay? So, we, in our writing, we usually use the Arabic script. Okay, to write polar. We use the Arabic script. Okay, to write polar. Okay, so, so they, it's not also hard. The, polar, uh, the Arabic script is not hard. And, and of course, it can earn you a lot of respect. Because a lot of, like, it's a big respect. It's a big, 
it's a mark of prestige to write in Arabic because sometimes in one village there might be only only the elders can be able to write you know the proper Arabic script so when you write it you know so so most of the times in one village people can just can try to find one person to send their letters okay so they go to that person please write a letter to my son who is in this place please write a letter so because that person is the only one who mastered the arabic script okay so let's go quickly to to this table okay so with that a sound okay we have that a sound so we have the english example father and the polar example audi audi means a seed okay a seed audi okay a seed like a plant seed okay and then here we, you will see the writing systems of course this is the standardized writing system okay so it means that if you're writing for example if you're writing something to me so that i can correct you yeah you have to write using the standard okay now the b like in boy baba baba exactly like in english so there's no difference father now this special looking b okay b. This one does not exist in English, like, and the polar example for that is Bingo, Bingo, okay, Bingo, wife, Bingo, ang, my wife, Bingo, ma, your wife, Bingo, Mako, his wife, okay, and it written, if you have to write it, you put the BH, okay, now the C one uh, is actually a Ch sound. Like uh, I think this is Italian. It's some kind of instrument. Ce the cello, cello. I, I don't know how to pronounce. I think it's pronounced cello. It's in, it's in Italian. I think it's some kind of instrument, guitar or something like that. Okay. And the pronunciation in polar, the same. Choggu. Okay. Choggu. Choggu means the price of something. Choggu. Choggu. The price of something. Choggu. Okay. Choggu. Not pronounce. Uh, this is the. The, the, the ch, the ch sound in, is the same in Malay language, in Malaysia, and the same in Italian also. Ch sound, okay? So if you have to write it, you use the ty. And now let's come to the d. This is a normal d, like in dog. And we have danki, bed. Okay? Danki, danki, bed, where you sleep, okay? Danki, danki, the simple d. And now we have the special d, th, th, like in tatal, tatal, the path, or the way. Okay, tatal, 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 ba, 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 tatal, okay, path, okay, you write, you have to write dh, like bh, okay, so the special d, special b, okay, now the e uh sound, the e uh sound, like pet, in English, a pet, like a cat, something, esirao, an in-law, esirao means an in-law, father-in-law, mother-in-law, brother-in-law, esirao, okay, E, pronounce E, Sirao, like in pet, okay? I think this book is really amazing. It's, it's simple and clear. I mean, I enjoy it, to be honest. Okay, F, now the F, fun. Okay, fayande, a cooking pot. Okay, fayande, fun, easy, you know? Now the G sound, like in girl, a girl, gatal. Gatal is a prayer mat where you pray, okay? Gatal, prayer mat. Okay, the H sound like in house, 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 hanky. Okay, this one is H, okay, like in house, exactly like in house. H, not hanky. H, like you eat chili, you know, like when you eat chili. Hanky, hanky, yesterday. Okay, so for those of you who speak Arabic, this will be easy because there is the same in Arabic also. Now the E sound like in ski. Okay, in the name, in the, in the ma, in the ma, your name, in the name, okay, in the, okay, now jump, okay, the G sound, the J sound, sorry, jump, okay, jungo, jungo, okay, jungo, uh, DY, yeah, so if you have to write it, use one of these two scripts, D, uh, the DY or DI, okay, jungo. Now, uh, K, kite, I don't know what this means in English, kite, I don't know. Kosan, okay, sour milk, okay, kosan, sour milk, 
Okay, or curded milk. Curded milk. Curded milk, okay? Like yogurt. Kosan. So this is our, you know, our national dish, or I don't know how to say it. This, you have to know how to pronounce this. Because this is the thing we like the most in our lives. We like curded milk. Fulani people, Fulbe, like curded milk. Okay? K okay, L, leg. Okay, leg, uh, my leg, like in English. Now, in Fulani, in Pular, Leki. In Pular, Leki. Leki, Pular, Leki. Okay? M, M, like in mouse, Maudo, an old person. Can be Maudo, an old person. Maudo, Maudo. Maudo can also be, if I say Maudo Ang, means, can mean my, my parents. My, my, a parent, a parent, one of my parents, okay, Maudo. Maudo can mean all the person, can mean also a parent, okay, so your father or your mother. Or somebody who can be your father or your, or your mother. If I say, Oot or Komaudo Ang, Oot or Komaudo Ang, this person is like my father or my father, it can mean he's my father or my mother, or he, he can act like it, okay? Yeah, act like it. Okay, now we have the MB like mb, like amba, okay? Amba, you know, amba in English. Now in, in Pular, mbewa. Mbewa means a goat. <laughs> a goat, mbe, 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 you know, mbe. Now mbewa, okay? Now we have N, note, nebba, okay? Oil, nebba, oil. And now we have the N, the N sound, like mandate, okay, a mandate, a protectorate, like, you know, mandate, a country who is a mandate of another country, okay, Ndour, mouse, Ndour, 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 mouse, okay. Now we have the N sound, like in anger, Ngayuri, Ngayuri means a lion, okay, Ngayuri, this is a very specific, a lot of people don't know that, but Ngayuri means a lion, okay. Now we have the nj sound like in enjoy, njatigi in in plural njatigi friend, and then we have the nj sound, okay. The ng sound, not the nj like in Spanish, the tilde. The ng sound like in sing, okay. Ngari, in plural ngari beauty, ngari. Ngari means beauty, physical beauty. Uh, now we have the ny sound like in Spanish, okay, the tenure of something. Nyari, nyari, cat. You can say nyari, you can add r u at the end to make nyari ru. It's the same, okay, nyari, nyari ru, cat. Okay, so you have to write it this way using the tilde, the Spanish tilde, or using the n, n, uh, uh, the ny. Okay, now we have. O sound open. This is you know, and now o o o ye, o o o ye, o o o ye means no, no, okay, no, o o o ye, okay, o o o ye, okay. Now p sound puff, okay. Puido, puido means a lazy person, you know, a very lazy person. Puido is just is. Unable to do anything. It's just lazy, you know, lazy. Puido. Now we have the the R sound, the R sound, like in redu. Redu means belly, belly or stomach. Okay, redu, redu. Now redu jo. We're gonna see it later. Redu jo means a pregnant woman. <laughs> okay, a pregnant woman. Redu stomach. Redu jo a pregnant woman. Okay. S now salt. Okay, like in English salt. We have Sare. Easy, like in English, Sare, town. Okay? Sare means town. The T sound, talk, like Teu. Okay? Pronounced Teu. When you see the double letters, it means that you have to search. Teu, meat. Okay? Teu, meat. Now we have the U sound. What is this? I've never seen this word in English. Tutu, or I don't know. Unirgal. Unirgal means a pestle, okay, that you use in a mortar, okay, a pestle, unirgal, unirgal, unugal is the verb, unugal, unugal means to, 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 do, to, to break the, the, the seeds or I don't know, okay, now we have the word sound, word, like water, 
and we have in plural woindu woindu means a well woindu like water woindu okay do you sound yellow yes yes of face okay yes 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 means face okay it can mean also like face like something in front of you i say ndaru yesoma ndaru yesoma look in front of you not look at your face but look in front of you okay if i want to say look at your face i will say ndaru yesoma ngom ndaru yesoma ngom look at your own face okay look at your visage okay mm, now the ear sound no, no this is not a ear sound but this this one is difficult okay prepare yourself the yeah 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 sound e e yang e yang e yang e yang it is not ye like yellow it is not ng it is yeah 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 yang e yang blood e yang blood okay e yang blood okay e yang okay rewind the video 10 million times to get it okay and now the last one we have the glottal stop okay this one also exists in arabic for those of you who know that language too okay e al e al a bone a bone e al e al not not ye al but e al e al yeah, there is a glottal stop after the e, e l, e l. Okay, okay. So that was the table. We're gonna have to come back to this table, and I advise you also to reread all this. Okay, and then let's go to the cultural notes first, and then we go to the exercises. Okay, for the cultural notes, we have the body language. Okay, shaking hands with both hands, or holding your forearm or elbow are signs of deference so this is very very important so if you know wherever you go for example i'm in malaysia right now the sign of deference for young people towards elders is to kiss the hand you see a child when he is greeting somebody older sometimes i'm working and some some child they can greet me and kiss my hand sometimes i say you don't have to or something but it's their culture okay it's their culture so so in the same way in, Fula, in, in, in Guinea, in Pular communities, we have that. Full bay, full bay they, they are really characterized by that deference. Okay? Shaking hands with both hands when you're greeting somebody older than you, or holding your forearm, okay, or elbow, okay, are signs of deference. Okay, so he's looking to the ground or away from the person to, the, to okay, you, do, you don't stare to people, to somebody older than you when you're greeting him. Okay, you have to look away a little bit, okay. Looking someone straight in the eye like your father told you to can be interpreted as aggressiveness. Okay, so you Europeans, okay, maybe in your culture you have to look at people in their eyes. Sometimes I understand that sometimes, for example, somebody wants you to look him in the eye so that you don't lie to him. But in, in polar culture, looking at somebody and staring more than like two, three seconds and staring at the, it means like you, you, you know, don't do that. Don't, please, don't do that, okay? Okay, now, okay, this one also, this made me laugh, okay? Wrong. You see, like, like this guy, like the American say, how do you, something like that? No, and then the, the old man is like, you know, panic attack, something like that. Okay, now. The right way to say onjara mamobe. Okay? Onjara mamobe. Okay, this is the right way. We have the young guy here greeting the onjara mamobe. Okay? So this is the this is the thing you should do. Okay. And come uh, please let's come back here also before we jump into the exercises. Greetings during prayer time. Often older men pray pray while walking home around sunset. They cannot control their prayer and will answer greeting for them. Okay, so this is uh, the offer. I understand that he is he is uh, he is not a native Fulani or something. This is not a prayer actually. This is just it's kind of a prayer. Yeah, he's right. He's right. 
It's kind of a prayer, but this is what is called in Islamic, uh, in the Islamic field, what is called zikr. It means the re remembering. Like you're saying, God is great, God is great, God is great, God forgive me. And you speak in those words, like Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Astaghfirullah, God forgive me, God help me, something like that. It's kind of prayer, yeah, yeah, he, he is right. It's kind of a prayer, but it's called remembrance in Islamic vocabulary, called the remembrance, zikr in Arabic, okay? And even in Fulani, we say jikr, jikr, the Arabic zikr, okay? So it's that. So when, when they, 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 they rosary beats, okay, when they do in this, Sometimes when you greet them, they cannot answer. So it's sometimes weird, okay, they cannot answer. So you have to understand that also, okay? They will just nod, okay, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, something like that, because the guy, the old man is doing his thing. Okay? If you see someone working home holding prayer beads, prayer beads, I don't know how to pronounce it, prayer beads, and with their lips moving, you may greet them by smiling, nodding, or clapping your hands together in front of your chest, okay? Because he cannot answer you, or he don't want to answer you, because he's concentrated and focused on his prayer, on his prayers, on his remembrance. Okay. Okay. Now exercises sounds like a. Okay. So this one is very interesting. Very very interesting. Very interesting. And this even some of the young little boys, little who are grown up in Europe or something, they sometimes make those mistakes. Okay? Okay, have someone pronounce the following sets of words. Okay, so this exercise, you can do it and post a video on the Facebook community page. I will be amazingly, I will be really glad to correct you. No problem for that, okay? So you can post your videos saying these words. I will be delighted to help you. Okay, so we're gonna, pron I'm gonna pronounce them to end. Please know the difference, okay? Habbagol, to wait. Habbagol, to tie oneself up, okay? To take something and tie myself up, okay? Tie my hands, tie my body. First we have habbagol. Second we have habbagol. Habbagol, 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 to wait. Habbagol, to tie oneself up. Okay, so rewind the video. Second, tut to go to spit. Tut to go. Second, tu to go. There's a stretch. Tu to go to vomit. Okay, tu to go. Now, the third one, tu to go to plant a tree. Take one seed and, and plant a tree. Tu to go. The third one is new to me. It was new to me, now I know it. Tutugo. I was using other words. Augol. There is a synonym of this word called Augol. That's, that's the one I used to use. But now I got a new thing. That's great. Tutugo. Okay? Third, Hadugo. To be spicy. Hadugo. A food is spicy. If I say, if I drink, if I eat something like something and then. No hadi. No hadi. It is spicy. It is spicy. Okay? No hadi. Ha du, dugol. Okay? You remember this special D that we saw in the table? On the table? Okay, this is the special D. Now, the second one. Hadugol to prevent. Hey, don't do this, okay? Hadugol to prevent. Okay? To prevent. Now, we have um, for sokugol to lock. Sokugol to lock if a key. And we have sokugol to eat a lot. Sokugol. So this is a bad word, okay? Don't use it to, 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 for that, okay? Don't use it to people because it's like eating like an animal, eating like a dog. <laughs> okay? So sokugol. But usually it's sokagol. Sokagol. To eat in a very voracious way. Sokagol. So sokugol is some, but most of the time we say sokagol, we use a instead of you, okay? Now if I bullal, a tone, okay, bullal, a tone that, that harm you, bullal. Now we have the second one, the special B, 
Ulal a swelling. Ulal a swelling is something that you know have a big size on your body and that hurts. Ulal. Now six very important word for Fulani and Muslims. Allah. Allah. We say Allah. Allah. The Arabs they say Allah. And we we say Allah means God. Allah means God. Now don't confuse it with Allah. Allah means tool. And don't confuse it also with Allah. There is none. Allah. Allah. There is nothing. There is none. Allah. 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 Okay. You have to pay attention. Seven. No word. Special D. No word. It's far. No word. And we have after that. Don't confuse it with no word. It exists. Okay, don't confuse it. Now eight, hukbugal, to light, hukbugal, hukbugal. We can also say hukbingal, it's the same, hukbugal, hukbingal. But we're going to see that, all that later. And now, hukbugal, hukbugal, to sprain, to sprain one of your muscles. And then it will hurt like hell. Okay, hukbugal, hukbugal. Don't confuse Hukbugal to light the lamp, the light, the light, to light the light, okay. Hukbugal to spray. And hukbugal to surround. Like when the lions, they surround the buffaloes, okay. Hukbugal. Hukbugal, okay. Nine, yaugal to be fast. Yaugal to despise. We, we, most of the time we say Yawagol. Again, like in the, in Sokkugol, most of the time we say Sokkagol. Okay, here, Sokkagol. And here also, most of the time we say, uh, where it is, Yawagol here, we say Yawagol. We use an, we use A instead of U. Okay, so it's up to you. Yawagol, Yawagol is the same. Okay, to despise. Okay, that's a bad thing. Don't despise people. Okay, no matter their race, no matter their religion, no matter their whatever. Don't despise people. Uh, and, and now we have Yawugol. Okay, this is the special Y. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yawugol. To climb. To climb a tree, to climb climb ladders, something like that. And then 10. Mokya. Mokya. Okay, here. Mokya means well. Like very well, okay, well done. Mokya. Now, this one is tricky. Mokya, mokya, bad. Um mokya, um mokya. It is bad. This is bad. Mokya and mokya different. Mokya, mokya. Where there is an A, there is a switch. Now yet to go to greet. Yet to go to greet. It can mean also to thank, to thank, okay? Yet to go to greet, yet to go to thank. Now we have yet to go to take, yet to go to take, to take a cup, to take something, yet to go. Yet to go to greet, to thank. Now 12, we have do to go to be numerous, to be a lot. Do to go, do to go, do, da, 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 da. do to go. And now we have we have here do de gol. Do de gol. To long for. To long for something. Do de gol. To long for something. Okay? To long for something. I think to long for means to desire, right? Something. Yeah. Walugol to help. Walugol to pass the night. Walugol to help. Walugol to pass the night. Okay? So it's tricky, I know. But with some practice, it will be okay. Fatagol oh, to die, okay? Fatagol to die. Fatagol to seek refuge. To seek refuge. Like when you're praying to seek refuge from Allah or from the Lord. Call Fatagol. Fatagol to seek refuge. Selugol to be healthy. Selugol. Selugol to turn away or to leave. To turn away or to leave something. Selugol. If I say selam, selam, selam means leave me, don't talk to me, leave me, selam, selam, selam. Now, selugol to cut into strips, 
say logal to cut into strips okay to say logal now 16 say ugal there is a glottal stop say ugal to leak to leak okay to leak water leaking now see ugal to pour okay see ugal see ugal to pour water into a bottle very carefully okay now radagol special d radagol No, Rad Radagol. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I'm, 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 I'm being a little bit lost with the writing. This one is Radagol. To go in a single fly, file, in line, in line. Radagol. And this one called Radagol. Radagol, to chase away, to chase a dog, or to chase a cat, or to chase a mouse. Okay? Radagol. Radagol to go in a single line, in a single line. Hulugal to be afraid of. 18 Hulugal to be afraid of. Now Hulugal to take aim. To take, to take aim. Okay, Hulugal. Now 19 Ilugal to sneeze. And we have Ilugal to flow. Ilugal to flow or to sink. Yeah. To flow or it can be also to sink also. Yeah, it can mean that also. Jabagol to reply. Okay, Jabagol to reply. Okay. Jabagol to welcome or to hug somebody, welcoming someone to, to, and hugging him. Hey, you know, like long time you don't see him or dad is coming home after a long time outside home. Okay, called Jabagol to welcome. Now, habugol to fight, okay? Habugol to fight, or can mean just uh, to not to talk to someone, to, to cut ties between you and someone, call also habugol, okay? To cut ties between you and someone. Now, habugol to be fed up of something, habugol, something boring, habugol, habugol, to be fed up. Finugol to wake up, to wake up from bed, from sleeping. Now, finugal to flower, okay, finugal, okay, this means also something else, very interesting, it means to give a new lesson to somebody, for example, somebody is learning, like me, every time I come with something new, I'm doing this, finugal, I am flowering you, okay, I'm teaching you something new, okay, I'm putting something new on you, okay, Called finugal also. Okay? But whenever you're taking a new lesson, you do that. Okay? It's finugal. Finugal. Okay? But it's it's you if you want to say I am going to take a lesson. We're gonna see all that maybe later. Called finagol. We're gonna see that in, in Pular. A verb can have a lot of forms. It can have the indicative like the verb, like in like in to do something in English. It can also to to be done. It can the like the reflective form and the possessive form, it's different. Finugal is me flowering, me flowering. But you getting flowered, you getting a new lesson, is called fina gol. Fina gol. Fina gol. You are getting. Okay? Fina gol. You getting something. To get flowered. To get flowered or to get taught a new lesson be taught a new lesson that called finagol to teach a new lesson finugol okay lubugol to lend to lend money to lend something okay now lubugol means to stink okay lubugol means to smell bad lubugol to stink lubugol to stink lubugol to, to lend okay so this is taking a lot of time I think maybe we're gonna stop there for oh just continue. I don't know. Let me try to okay, let's do matching, matching, and then and then we're gonna stop there for today. Okay, matching. Okay, match each pull out sentence with its closest English equivalent. Okay? So if you want to try before you 
you look at the solutions you can pause the video and then it's okay so this one d okay see you later and on to my see you later and on to my see you later see you then see you at that time okay now to jump to what does jump to means i let you guess jump to jump to okay means peace only peace only okay so it's the letter g okay tana ala tana ala sri what is that tana ala okay is everything okay is i okay is everything okay is everything okay now for anyali ejam for for is f have you spent the day in peace okay now five being good and then being good and then what is five five is a how's the family how's the family okay how's the family doing okay now six no way no way no way okay six is linked with what what's up okay what's up see now seven umbilike e jam umbilike e jam umbilike e jam umbilike e jam did you sleep well did you sleep well now this one this form is the deference form or the respectful form of to sleep there are two forms that you can use this one is for maybe your parents and you asking if your dad has sleep well you're going to use that one on belly kejan but there is one called the simple one to say sleeping is tanagol maybe you've seen it in the vocabulary before tanagol and if you are talking to a friend you're going to say ah dani ke ejam ah dani ke ejam have you slept well like my friend or my sister or something but when it comes to my father or somebody i respect somebody i want to show respect I'm, I'm going to use bella gol instead of tana gol. Okay? Now, eight. Mbimbi. Mbimbi. Mbimbi means what? See you in the morning. Okay? J. See you in the morning. J. See you in the mo morning. Now, nine. We have... Nine. We have he, he. Okay? He he. He he means yes. Okay, yes. Now ten, we have what? Si Allah jabi. Si Allah jabi. What does it mean? Si Allah jabi means God willing. Okay. So we're gonna stop here for today. I think uh, we did. I don't know how many minutes is it. So I think thirty minutes, around thirty minutes. So we're gonna stop there. So guys, do the exercises. Write me on Facebook. You can also leave your comments. I'm online every time, etc., etc. Okay. Awa. Eng ontuma. See you later. Eng ontuma. See you later. Eng ontuma. See all again. See you later. God willing. Okay. Bye. Peace be upon you. Oh, bye.